Made by students. For students. This is Nerve Radio. Hey everyone, I'm Hannah and today on behalf of Nerve Media I'm joined by the lovely Susie who I will be interviewing today all about her sporting achievements. So we're lucky enough that she's come to visit Bournemouth Uni today so let's get into it. First of all, um, can we get a quick introduction? Yeah, so I'm Susie um, and I am a Paralympic swimmer. I competed in London 2012, won three bronze medals in freestyle events and then Rio 2016, won a gold in the 50 meters butterfly, this is the gold, and um, two bronze medals as well. Wow, yeah. amazing, so a lot of achievements in your career. Yeah, I mean, I, I competed about a decade, so it was yeah. a long career, yeah. So, what was the story behind how you went to school? Um, actually at uni. Okay. So I was at uni at Newcastle, and um, I just joined the local swimming club, and then it kind of went from there, really. I navigated it, I did a degree in languages, so I did a year abroad, but then after I got back, I kind of got back into it when I was working, so oh, yeah. yeah. Did you have any routines or rituals that you had to do before your racing? Yeah, I mean, it, it's always quite intense going to a games. Um, so you tend to have like things that'll keep you calm. So I'd have things when I was in the athletes' village where I would, you know, favorite TV shows or whatever, just to kind of decompress yeah. and kind of keep the stress levels down. But I, I would say one of the big things for me was music. So I use music as a way to really ramp up my energy um, and then when I'm ready to race, but then also um, music and kind of nature sounds and stuff like ambient sounds to kind of come down after a race so that I can kind of relax. Um, and I actually, I, I'm just showing my age, but I'm a huge Chemical Brothers fan. Yeah. And I used to listen to Chemical Brothers before I would race. Yeah. And I saw them live for the first time in my life, yeah. only a year ago, wow. and I was, so happy to see them because that like, took me back to my races. Yeah, and I imagined myself like gearing up to race. So oh, yeah, I was about to ask you, did you have like one particular song that you always put on? Um, so so Block Rock and Beats, yeah. Chemical Brothers. Um, oh, what else? I used to listen to a lot of Disclosure as well. Oh, cool. I mean, that really got me ramped up too. Yeah. Um, so any and then and then weirdly sort of like slightly seventies dance like. Ooh from Chic, yeah. just, I don't know why, but it just worked. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you find something that works, you may as well it, Yeah, exactly, it so it's a bit of a variety there, yeah. but you know, there you go. Oh, nice. So, as we just touched on, you've had huge success in your career. If you had to pick one moment in particular, what would be your proudest moment? Uh, probably winning gold yeah. uh, in Rio, yeah. I mean, that was, um, I used to love the relays as well, though, because swimming is a very solitary sport, you're very individual. Yeah. Um, so it's nice to do a relay where you're with a team and you like it feels more team sport yeah um so yeah i i would say relays and then also um yeah when i won oh, amazing and what has been your biggest challenge in life disability inclusion and yeah. having a disability is is um i'd say it's kind of you're facing a lot of barriers in society yeah. so for me uh probably the kind of biggest barrier is like navigating like stairs and mm. physical landscapes where I get tired um, and I guess that's something that is everywhere it's like society's not massively made for varieties of disabilities mm. so yeah that's probably probably it for me and I'm sure you're such an inspiration to so many people particularly people with disabilities as well can you share a piece of advice that you have for people who might be in a similar position to you um, I would say connect with others in, in a similar situation but also um, you know, don't be afraid to ask if you need anything from the university or, you know, and I think actually your generation is a lot more open than when I was at university. I think people are more comfortable talking about diversity and yeah. identities. So I think um, it's a safer space to talk about it and, and I don't think that anyone should feel that should, they should have to hide themselves because I did a little bit at university. So. Um, when I went to university, which was a, lot, a long time ago. Um, so I feel like people should feel comfortable and, and that they're in a safe space and they yeah. can talk about who they are and be proud of who they are. Absolutely. I think you're a really good role model for that. So oh, thank that's you. Really amazing. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for having me. Thank you.